if you've ever tried to get like a Y shape or kind of a branch of pipes with a, a nice ergonomic look, um, this, this tip may be helpful. There's two approaches, there's I'm sure more than two approaches, but a couple of approaches to, to go to. Um, if you need to be very specific, you can create a couple of, you can create a sketch with a couple of different paths that you can utilize. So in this case, I've got a couple of, uh, in fact, let me just roll back. You'll notice that I have a sketch that has basically just the profile that I want. And then I created a work plane um, that is at the end, you know, zero percentage along the, this path that I put another sketch on for my profile that I'm going to sweep. I did it one more time on th this leg and created another profile that is the same size. So what this allows me to do is I can come in with my sweep command, pick a profile, pick a path, and sweep along that path. We'll repeat that with that path and we'll say profile with the original path. We're going to join that. I could do this as multiple bodies and then join, but in this case I'm just going to join these together. And then, um, so this is very precise as far as just keeping a constant 0.5 radius or diameter pipe along the way. And then I could come in and add a nice blend between everything. So once I've done that, uh, you'll notice that I have that little blend in there. And, you know, I could make that as big or as small as I wanted. In fact, it's probably not quite as smooth of blend as I would like. So I can come in with something like a, a variable and, and play around or, you know, we'll do constant and probably drop down that radius a little bit. Um, so, you know, something you can play with. You can also do like a G2, which is going to give you a little bit, it'll give you a, a more uh, curvature continuity between there. So that's one option of creating a shape like that. Another one that's pretty interesting, I'm going to go to, uh, in, in the sculpt environment, I created three different um, primitives. I'm just going to edit my form here, tell it not to show me that again. And I created one cylinder and then I copied it and positioned it uh, three different times to look something like this. And from here what I can do is go into my weld command we're just going to say I'm going to weld these vertices. And one tricky thing to start with is make sure you don't do vertex to vertex in this example. What it does, if I do vertex to vertex, it moves the vertex I pick to the position that I selected. Well, I'm going to undo that. It keeps me in the command. But I'm going to do vertex midpoint. So in this case, I'm going to do these two. You'll notice that it meets them halfway. So I'm just going to step around here for a minute and weld these vertices of these of this sculpt object. You can see as I do that, it starts smoothing that out. And then I can do this one where we can say, um, you know, we'll union those two together. And then I can start unioning this one in. And we'll do that top and bottom and step around. So as I do this, it's meeting them, you know, it's basically meeting them both halfway joining them together and without too much effort I get a pretty nice shape that is pretty organic. So it blends those all together and I get a shape like that. And this to me this looks like you know some of those mountain bikes you see out of carbon fiber that are you know very smooth, flowy, um, you know you can get something like that. And then from here uh, I'm going to return out and you can thicken that if you want it to, to have thickness. We can do something like two millimeters and hit OK. So that's that's one, you know, a couple of different approaches to get a very similar shape. One is just a little bit more precise, and one of them gives you a, a little bit more of an organic type of model. The one that I like with T splines, um, you know, depending on what you're doing, they they both are um, great workflows. But you know, you can with the T splines, it's very flexible for you to come in. And you may want to start making modifications. You may want to bow that out a little bit. So then you could even come in and say, you know, let's, um, let me find the right handle here. Let's kind of push that out and give it a little bit more of a bump. So then, you know, you can even play around a little bit with that. So anyway, hopefully that helps with driving some of these types of shapes. And depending on what you're trying to do, you can use sketches with sweeps and lofts. 
or you can come in and use um, sculpt options.